It's a bit of a sad day today. We're handing back the Tucson, which we've had for the last seven months. We picked it up in December 2016. It's July 2017 now. It's a long-term test vehicle, which is a little bit different to our normal review cars. Now, when we have the cars for a week, we get to know them pretty well, but not six or seven months type of well. Now, this Tucson is a 2017 Tucson, and it's the very entry-grade Tucson. It's the active spec. Last year, we went to the Czech Republic where these are made, and we actually helped build one. We saw it roll down the production line, we added bits and pieces to it. It then went on a boat, sailed to Australia, we met it in Melbourne, and then Tom and I drove it all the way back to Sydney. And then once in Sydney, it's become part of my family. My wife and my toddler, we've used it pretty much every single day. We've used it exactly how you would use your car. We've even named it, it's Terry, Dirty Terry, and that's why we're cleaning it. So a lot has happened over the last seven months. Terry's been to six birthdays. Terry's been through the hottest summer on record in Sydney, a Christmas, an Easter, there was the redback spider incident, the huntsman incident, and then there was the, and then was the hit and run incident. Someone hit us and then they ran. It sounds worse than it actually was. So, after all that, what did we like and what didn't we like? Kias, Hyundais, they look so hot right now. And that's because of a guy called Peter Schreyer. You've probably heard about him before. He moved from Audi to Kia and then became chief of design for the entire Hyundai Kia family. And then Hyundais and Kias started looking really good. I love the headlights. Look at that. I love this arc which curves around there. I love the grille. It is a little bit Audi, but it's still really pleasing. Look at the profile. It's, I love the way this hoops back like this. I love those tail lights and I love that tailgate. Very clean indeed and that spoiler like that too. The other thing I have really liked about our Tucson is the size of it. It's big enough on the inside to fit all our stuff the centre console storage bin is excellent. It fits an entire packet of milk arrowroot biscuits. That's essential for parents. The back seat is, is roomy. I can sit in it, but I haven't been. It's been my son, and it's actually really easy to get him in and out, and even car seats. Like, taking this out for the first time in Yonks, and that's done there, good. It's just been, it's been a cinch. We should have just dumped this in the garage, but um, we've had to take this out so that we can fit even more stuff in. Now, oh, full size spare wheel in the back too. Now we have to clean the boot. So the Tucson has been big enough on the inside for our little family, but it's been small enough on the outside for where we live. And parking spaces are tiny, but we've never had any major issues in finding a spot big enough for the Tucson. Okay, another thing that I really like about the Tucson Active is Apple CarPlay. Now, in the 2017 model, Apple CarPlay didn't come in the upper specs. They got inbuilt sat-nav, but I would quite happily trade you your inbuilt sat-nav for Apple CarPlay any day. So the Tucson's quite happy with your El Cheapo 91 Ron. Around the city, we're beginning 12.3 litres per 100, according to the trip meter. If you hit the highway, drive to Newcastle or something like that, you can drop that to about eight or nine. But yeah, in the city, 12.3. Now that is, it's a 62 litre tank. We've put in 57 litres, 57.7 litres. That is now full. And that's gonna cost us $65 and 72 cents. I like the engine. It's not a turbo, it's not particularly sophisticated either uh, compared to the others in the lineup. 
It's a two litre engine and it's, I'd like to call it honest. It's, it's not overly powerful, um, but there hasn't been any times I've wanted to go you know, any harder. It's not that type of car. And you actually feel like it's a big metal suit that you're wearing and it's, you just need to get to where you gotta go and you put on the suit and you go. Transmission is good as well. It's not a dual clutch or a CVT, it's just a regular automatic and it hasn't skipped a beat. Oh, and finally, we can take this sunshade off. Now, the base spec Tucson doesn't have tinted rear windows. Now, if you're a parent, you'll know how important tinted rear windows are if you've got children because of this reason. Your toddler's sitting in the back and the sun is shining straight into his eyes and you've got to be using one of these daggy things. Okay, so things we didn't like. Now, I asked my wife, which she's been living with this as, as long as I have, I asked her what, what she didn't like about the Tucson and she said that she didn't feel like it was special enough. So, but I, I tend to agree with her, but at the same time I reminded her that it's the active spec, it's the very entry grade into the Tucson range. So it doesn't have all the trimmings and the, you know, the, the nice materials that you'd expect. These, these seats do feel a bit, you know, budget and the plastic's hard on the dashboard but it is easy to clean. Another thing we weren't a major fan of were the headlights. Now, they look amazing. I love the way they're styled, but they are so weak. Even the high beam is so weak. It's fine in the city, but when we were coming back from Melbourne on the Hume Highway at midnight in the dark, they just didn't cut the mustard. And I've driven in the country as well, on dark country roads, even high beam is just not bright enough. No air vents in the second row, in the back row here. Now for the last six months, my son's been shouting out, faster, faster. And I thought he wanted me to drive faster, but what he was talking about was to turn the air con up the front on harder so that he could get some air. So no air vents is also a bit of a dislike for us. There's no advanced safety kit on the base spec Active Tucson. No AEB, no blind spot, none of that whiz bang stuff which you can only get on the top of the range uh, Tucson. All right we're back here at Hyundai's headquarters in Sydney. Terry it's a uh, it's time for us to, um, to go our separate ways. It's been good, mate. We had some good times. It's been that, that bad time. Not sure where those spiders went. But it's been big, mate. I've really enjoyed it. And thank you. All right. Well, look, there's another Hyundai Tucson over there. And another one, too. All right, mate. You're going to go on to... Bigger and better adventures now. See you later. See you, mate.